Joining us right now is Dr. Suman Radhakrishna, Director of Infectious Disease with Dignity Health California Hospital. Doctor, welcome back. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you for having me. With students and staff now being able to uh, have the option of going mask free, what's your best advice for them? Um, we have to understand the mandate is gone, but that doesn't mean that um, we don't keep our surveillance up. So um, get vaccinated if you already aren't, get boosted if you need to. And uh, if you're not feeling well, get tested and, um, and stay at home. We've been talking about this this week. We've seen an increase in uh, BA2, another variant. Uh, we've seen it in Europe. We've seen it overseas. How concerned should we be about that and perhaps another wave? Well, you know, COVID-19, this is going to be the way uh, of the future. You are going to have waves that... Um, uh, you know, wax and vein. And um, we really don't know much about BA2 in terms of uh, what it does because the data always lags behind. Um, and um, so being careful and cautious is a good idea. As the masks start falling off, we will see more numbers, but hopefully not to a point where we are back in the surge mode. I'm going to ask you a personal question here, doctor. Don't be alarmed. It's just a simple question. If there's one place that you would mask up at this point, where would it be? Uh, in public transportation, because, um, you know, the seats are so close to each other. If I have to fly, I haven't flown in so long, but if I had to fly, I would mask up because there isn't space. You're already sitting so close to the next person and you are tied to a seat belt, so you can't really move also. And uh, so that's, that's, you know, airplane. That's my answer. Public transportation. All right. What are your chances of getting COVID again? Let's say you had it a couple of months ago during the winter surge. Um, it, you know, Omicron showed that people can get COVID again. Some people it was stronger and some people it was much milder. So getting vaccinated and boosted is a good way to go. And remember that social distancing and if someone's obviously sneezing and coughing, if they didn't realize that they had to go home, maybe, you know, urging your coworkers to go back home would be a good idea. Well, you raise an interesting point here. A lot of people complaining about allergies and maybe feeling like they're getting a cold. How do you really tell the difference between COVID and allergies, maybe the flu or perhaps even a cold? You know, initially it's hard and the symptoms are very, very, um, you know, they overlap. And, um, but the good part is we have lots of tests available and uh, most people who are allergy suffer sufferers know the difference because of the fact that it's seasonal and, you know, the flowers are starting to bloom. And if you're sneezing, that's more likely allergies. But if you're around somebody who was sick, then perhaps it's COVID. Best thing, get tested. If you're not sure and you can work from home remotely, go ahead and do that. And uh, finally, if um, it's been six months since your last vaccine doses, get vaccinated. All right. Doctor, thank you so much for clarifying some of this this evening. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Take care.